All right, so a lot of you have asked, Joe, what is that lure that is behind your shoulder in your podcast and some of your live videos? Well, this is it. And this has a really, really amazing story I want to share with you. And this was all handcrafted. Look at this lure. I mean, look at the tension, the detail on that bad boy. And this was all done well before 19. 44. So here is the story. I'm going to tell you what this lure is used for. My grandfather, my mom's dad, was a fighter pilot in World War II and the Korean War. He was actually a colonel in the Marines and flew an old course airplane. Just had some amazing stories. And this is one of multiple lures he brought back from Japan in 1944. Now, as a fighter pilot, you can imagine my grandfather had a lot of cool stories. And the story behind this one was that, he, you know, he had to shoot down multiple planes just to get his hands on this lure. And obviously that was not true, but it was just an amazing tale for us as young kids before we lost our grandfather. And uh, it was something we will never forget. And this is always why I treasure this and why it's in a frame. But Look at the attention to detail on this. This was obviously made well before 1944 when my grandfather brought it back. And I mean, look at that. All done by hand. I mean, look at the wood on here. And oh my gosh, look at that. And so if you guys don't know what this is, this is a lure to catch squid. It's probably one of the best ways still today to catch squid. And this is called eggy, I believe is what they call it in Japan, or called egging when you're actually jigging this thing to basically have a squid attached to it and get stuck on those things. You bring it up, there's still a ton of video, uh, YouTube videos on there doing it. And now today, same lures, and they still have the same weight here. They still have the same little weight a lot of times up front is a well, if you can see it up there. And they same have these still same little, uh, little hooks on there to grab the squid. Now, of course, they're not handmade like this. Now they're all mass produced. But I mean, how cool is this thing? Now, they come in a different couple of different patterns. Some could say this is actually a shrimp. You can see how that could be defined as a shrimp. And some say it's a little bait fish. Either way, this thing works just with this kind of pattern, jigging up and down to catch squid. I mean, how awesome is that thing. So I just wanted to share that with you. A lot of people had asked what that lure was sitting up, sitting up there behind me. And then finally, for any of you who have served in our military, who serve currently for our military, who protect us, who protect our freedoms, thank you so much. We appreciate you. We honor you. And we can't tell you enough how much we appreciate you fighting for our freedoms and our safety. So that is it for more cool lures, tips, tricks, Unbiased reviews, go to saltstrong.com.